Let's see how the ISMP model works in action. First scenario that we are given is that consumers become pessimistic about the economy. First thing that is important is to identify what parameter is causing a shock. Since consumers are pessimistic, they lose their confidence in the market and has negative expectations. Consumer would then reduce their consumption and hold investment decisions such as buying a house in abeyance for the time being. In the ISMP model, we can see that the shifting of IS curve to the left and then output falls below potential and economy enters a recession. In order to stabilize the economy, the central bank would target to reduce the interest rate by increasing money supply. Since inflation is sticky in the short run, meaning that it does not respond too quickly in the same time period, changes in nominal interest rate will be reflected in real interest rate. With the policy, MP curve shifts down and the lower interest rate would encourage investment, so the economy is now stimulated, closing the gap between the actual and the potential output. Next scenario is that there are improvements in information technology which increase the marginal product of capital. From the IS equation, we can see that the change affects the marginal product of capital denoted as R bar. When MPK is higher than real interest rate, it means that firms are better off when they invest more because they can be profitable in additional investment. So this would stimulate the investment demand. This causes the IS curve to shift to the right and the economy enters an expansion. Since the economy is now above potential, the central bank will try to stabilize it by increasing the interest rate. MP curve shifts up into the new MPK level at this level, and this higher interest rate would lead to reduction in investment, hence it would reduce the output. At this point, the change will move along the IS curve and the economy will be back to potential. Lastly, a booming economy in Europe leads to an unexpected increase in the demand by European consumers. Now this leads to higher exportation and higher revenue and output of the domestic economy. This is a positive aggregate demand check, so the IS curve shifts to the right and the economy enters an expansion. To reduce the inflation brought by the positive output gap, the central bank would target an increase in interest rate by reducing money supply. So it will shift the MP curve upward and then it will reduce the investment, thereby the economy will be back to potential. I can conclude that any changes in aggregate demand shocks and MPK causes IS curve to shift to the left or to the right and any changes in interest rate will cause a movement along the IS curve. Lastly, the central bank can influence real interest rate by targeting nominal interest rate through regulating money supply. This is possible because of the assumption that inflation is sticky in the short run.